Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching another live demo tutorial. For this one, we're going to talk about this new feature available with this new firmware on the p -Service system. It's a really exciting feature. It's the call flow designer. Well, let's take a look. First of all, the call flow designer is covered by the ultimate plan. So once you're in the system, you can simply make sure you got the ultimate plan subscribed. And right over here, you're going to be able to see the call flow designer is covered in the ultimate plan. And after that, we can simply check on the left hand. We have this call flow designer, this particular category. Now you can check on that. Here we go. This is the interface for us to start our configuration. And uh, to set up this call flow designer, it's actually very easy to make it work. As you can see here, this is one of our built-in features. You don't have to, you know, get prepared with anything else additionally there. You can simply click on add here to set up a new call flow. So quick example. I can set up the call flow 101. There you go. And the create method, we have three options there. You can try start from template. So we give you guys the standardized template. You can use that one to start your configuration. Or you can also try the second one, start from scratch. You're going to set up this call flow completely by yourself. Or the other one import from file. So if you have something prepared already, you can also upload it here as you wish. Now I'm going to take this manual configuration as an example. Here we go. Check on save. Now the interface will just be pop up automatically. And this is exactly how we're going to start our job. So as you can see, we can use the call flow. Mostly we're going to use it to handle our inbound routes, right? Uh, some external calls to reach out our destinations on the PBX. Well, this might be the easy way. I mean, the much easier way comparing with the traditional configuration. You don't have to set up the inbound route one by one. Simply take a look on the call flow. Everything will be quite straightforward. So take a look on this one. First of all, it gives you this default destination. Now you can click on this little icon and you can add some subsidiary items. So quick example. If I want to set up the IVR, you can simply check on this and select manual. There you go. You can see this is uh, how it looks for the IVR. And automatically, the system generates two destinations, uh, one for invalid input, one for response timeout. Well, if you're trying to do some editing for each one of these categories, you can click on this one. And there you go. You got the pop-up. So here you can do a little bit of customization if you want to change some conditions there. All right. And back over here, if I want to add another subcategory, let's see, we can just check on this icon to move forward. So now, if this is going to be the invalid input, the destination mostly, I'm just going to hand it up. Now I can choose hand up the call. For the response timeout, we're going to use hand up as well. And uh, the other thing left here for us is this is the IVR, so we need some other destinations. Now we can check on I add here. And uh, this is going to be branches one. Click on it. Now you set up the key value. So for key value number one, I will just click on confirm. There you go. This is key one. If customers press key one, now we're supposed to drop this call to a certain destination. Now you can try transfer. And the transfer destination, we can also set up the, you know, the customization here. So the destination, we can try maybe ring grip. So here we go. I can try ring grip for sales. And we can click on confirm. And of course, you guys can see something else we have here is the prompt configuration. So for this particular, I mean, the call transfer destination settings, if you prefer to add some prompt, you can also click here, custom prompt, or text to speech, music on hold, some other options are also available. Now let's try the custom prompt. So in this drop down list, if you already have some pre configured prompt, you can simply select it. There you go. Now we can check on confirm. So generally speaking, this is how we're going to set up the call flow by drawing this map. Well, this is a quick example. Of course, check on the left hand here. You have so many items here, not just the call transfer, not just the hand up the call. You can also use some other destinations to set up this call flow step by step. Well, anyway, I suppose you guys need to give it a try there. All right. By the way, this call flow interface, you can also try to click on open in a new tab. So you can keep your call flow interface right over here on this particular tab. And you can back to your PBX if you prefer to do some other configurations. So it's pretty flexible. 
You can try to focus on the call flow di- directly, or if you have some other missions, you need to do some other configurations. Well, you can keep the call flow on a particular web page. All right, not a problem. Okay, so anyway, that was a quick live demo about this call flow designer. And one more thing, guys, don't forget to turn on the call flow if you're going to use it. Don't forget to turn on the call flow and then click on save. After that, here we go. We got this call flow running. And one thing important here for the call flow is just be careful, guys. Once you enable the call flow, the priority of the call flow is absolutely higher than the inbound route. Even you already have a couple of routes there set in the inbound route, but here, if you just turn on the call flow, this one goes first always. But anyway, if you want to turn it off, you can switch it off anytime you prefer. So once again, if you prefer to use your inbound route to handle phone calls instead of the call flow, back over here you can simply switch it off. All right. Anyway, this is a brief live demo about this call flow feature, and I'm pretty sure it's something really exciting. Don't forget to give it a try. Upgrade your system. Give it a check on this call flow designer. And、uh, one more thing, this is covered by the ultimate plan, so make sure you have the plan subscribed. Okay. Thank you for watching. Need more details? Visit yester.com. All right, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.